You might think, Mark, this is all crazy talk and there's nothing to worry about. That might be true, but it's worth investigating to see whether or not there's some health concerns with our choices. I'm not trying to say that you should be worried, and I'm not trying to say that you should be just like, whatever, carefree. Go make your own decisions, and hopefully this helps you to be a little more informed. I know it helped me to be more informed on the countertop choices that I'm potentially going to make in the future. The countertops we're looking at in today's video are porcelain slabs made in the USA, solid surface acrylics, quartz countertop, plastic laminate countertops, granite and natural stones. And the website I'm referring to is homefree.healthybuilding.net. The study they've done on countertops is broken into these sections, which I'll show you here on the screen. And they're color coded in terms of the ones that are safest to the ones that are least safe. I encourage you to check out their website and check out this study so you can understand fully what the spectrum of colors means from green to yellow to red. Now I'm gonna share their findings on what they consider to be the most healthy to the least healthy options for countertops. Starting with porcelain slabs made inside the USA. Ceramic or porcelain materials made without toxic glazes can be relatively low impact materials for a countertop installation. Those those made in the USA are typically free of lead compounds in their glazes. Look at tile product literature that identifies where they've been made and what they're made of, including fritz, glazes, and pigments. Avoid products with non-specific post-consumer recycled content. These contents may be old cathode ray tubes from TV sets and computer monitors. Interesting. They contain high concentrates of lead. Tiles with CRT contents are sometimes called CRT tiles. Porcelain slabs are further preferred within ceramic materials because they avoid grout lines and therefore avoid the need for sealing the grout, which can introduce hazardous forever chemicals per and polyfluorinated alkyl substances. I don't know what they are, but apparently they're not good for you. Solid surface comes in at a yellow and it is still something that they would recommend as being somewhat healthy, I guess, in terms of how the spectrum works. Solid surface countertops are made from a slab plastic, typically polymethylmethacrylate. The countertops can be cut and formed into many different shapes and layouts, and if necessary, joined with a special adhesive to achieve a seamless look. Because solid surface countertops are non-porous, they are stain resistant and do not require sealing. However, the manufacturing of PMMA plastic releases significant amounts of methyl methacrylate into the environment, which can be toxic to the reproductive system and lead to the onset of asthma. So it seems that it's relatively safe in your home, but the manufacturing process and maybe the sanding of that in your home might not be the healthiest. The almighty quartz countertop is on the list of quartz and it is in yellow, meaning that it is pretty good, I guess, in terms of health. But let's see what it says. Quartz countertops are made by combining granules of particulates. The polyester resins used to make both types of composite can contain trace amounts of cobalt, which is a carcinogen and can harm several systems in the body. Additionally, manufacture of polyester resins release significant amounts of styrene, which is a carcinogen and an asthmogen into the environment. However, whereas quarried stone contains pores, engineered stone and cultured marble are non-porous, so resist staining without requiring a sealer. It seems to be the countertops that don't need a sealer and don't need anything extra after the manufacturing process are the healthiest ones so far. Please consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell, bell, bell so that you can be notified when my videos go live. Good old plastic laminate is coming in the red zone, which is not very good for me because it's what I have in my home. But let's see what it has to say about plastic laminate countertops. Laminates are composite products made of layers of paper impregnated with various formaldehyde-based resins pressed together into a rigid sheet. And because there's no structural support, the sheet then needs to adhere to a substrate, particle board, medium density fiber board, etc., to create a countertop surface. The substrates commonly rely on formaldehyde-based binders that release formaldehyde, which is a carcinogen and an asthmogen, into interior spaces over time. If possible, specify laminate countertops with substrates made with an NAUF, no added urea formaldehyde, or even better, an NAF, no added formaldehyde binder. Now, I have no idea if my countertops are made with a non-urea formaldehyde emitting product. I don't know, um, but it kind of has me thinking. That. Okay, pause. I actually went and checked the website of the manufacturer of my countertop and I am safe. There's no 
formaldehyde emitting resins in the substrate that my countertop's made with. So thumbs up for me. Coming in again in the red zone, which is interesting. They're specifying the fact that this requires sealing. This is granite and natural stones, which happens to be one of my favorite materials out there. Solid granite is a natural stone that has been polished to a smooth surface. The primary health hazard associated with granite and natural stone countertops is the sealer they typically require. Granite and other stone countertops may be sealed during their manufacturing or after the installation and the manufacturer suggests that this sealer be reapplied periodically over the life of the countertop. So you can buy countertops that are pre-sealed, you can buy countertops that come not sealed and you have to do it yourself. Most companies that I've dealt with already have it pre-sealed for you and it lasts typically, you know, 10 years. These sealer products are commonly based on floral polymer chemistry. I know you all know what that is. Long and short chain perfluorinated alkyl compounds which are persistent and bioaccumulate and have reproductive and developmental hazards. These are present in residuals in the sealer products. If granite or other natural stone be necessary in a building project, be sure to talk to suppliers about which ones need less sealing or less frequent sealing. And you should pick ones that are exceptionally dense and have fewer pores. Some natural stones are more porous than others and some you can actually get away with not sealing at all. It seems to be this sealer that is really the big issue and something that needs to be avoided. Now, like I said, many companies have it pre-sealed and that you don't need to actually touch it again for 10 or maybe 15 years. So that's something you should definitely check out. If you have to be sealing it once or twice a year, maybe it's not the best option. What's this all mean? Does this mean you gotta go get rid of your countertop? Does it mean you're not safe in your home? I, I, I don't think so. I just think it's interesting information that we should take into consideration where we're sourcing these things. The whole idea of this website and the whole idea of this video is to kind of bring this information to the forefront so that we can make healthier choices. When you are purchasing a countertop, these are some questions that maybe you should be asking to make sure that you have the healthiest options available on the market. If it's something you're concerned about, and maybe it's nothing to be concerned about. Again, this video's point is not to say you need to throw out all your countertops because they're definitely killing you. It's just to give some awareness to this idea that some countertops may not be as healthy as others, and I think that's reasonable to assume. Porcelain slabs are at the top of this list as being the safest health-wise. Check out this video to learn more about porcelain slabs and whether or not there's something you should be considering.